hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna unbox the your nail lab box for the month of april and i know how you guys feel about these boxes but i did see a lot of the promo and just some of the items that they were showing i was kind of excited to see what i received in mine and like just by looking at like the overview of what's in here it does look very interesting so i was really ready to like pull everything out and just see what i received um i am just gonna go through everything very quickly this first item here are some pink rhinestones i love that color shift and that shade of pink we do have a black gel liner and i love how pigmented this gel is and makar has some really nice quality gel products so i would recommend them on any day the next item is one of the items i was looking forward to like i was mentioning before when they were doing the promo for this box they did mention how the box was going to be targeted more towards the people who love soft gel tips and the gel x method and i have yet to try this from makar i do know this is a new item from them so i was just really excited to get it and try it out the shade that they sent me is in nude and you can use this as an extension gel builder gel gel glue or a rhinestone glue one of the main things i'm looking forward to using this is the consistency like once i peeled off the top which is by the way so satisfying as you guys see the consistency of it is really firm it's really nice and like in there and i don't really know what i meant by in there but i just love how it looks in here and it looks very smooth as well and this is a four in one solid nail glue which explains why it is a little bit firmer than other items we will be getting more into it in a few minutes but for now let's go through the other items so we do get an all-in-one two-in-one acrylic from them and this color is called fruit punch and do not quote me on this but i do think this is part of their reflective collection um, if not, it is very similar because it has a lot of glitters and it's super reflective. The next item is a poly gel called Olong. I'm not sure, but it is a great poly gel. And this was fascinating to me because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen or yet to find a gray poly gel. And then this version of the box, we only got one poly gel. So I did just go ahead and swatch it on the box it came in. And I just really love that shade of gray. It's like super light. It's not too dark. So that's very interesting to have. It's very different. The last item I'm going to show are these Pump Up X tips. And I'm so excited for these. Um, I was just like really happy to have these myself. Because like I said, I have yet to try any of the Gel X tips from a cart. Although I was a little bit bummed because I know they weren't going to be long how I like them. But yeah, I was still just kind of like looking forward to trying something from a cart. Or just trying something new, I should say. Um, especially like the gel x method these soft gel tips so yeah i was just like really excited to try these out and look at them myself so opening up the box this is how they look um they look pretty normal nothing really stuck out to me they do remind me of some of the other tips i have tried whether it's from um model ones the amazon brands um bt art box although i do love the bt art box soft gel nails a whole lot better um, but they were a little flexible around the cuticle area which is what you want so when you do apply them they don't give you that bulky press on look they were firm at the tip area which is going to make the nails a lot durable for you to wear the c curve was a little intense but for the length of them i feel like they were all right and also since they were a little bit shorter i do think the apex area like the nail bed area was perfect they weren't too flat or they weren't too high up either especially for my nail beds so i did want to make the unboxing portion a lot shorter than i usually would um so yeah that's everything i got in my box i will leave everything down below for you guys to um check out if you do want to purchase some of these items individually because i know you guys haven't really been into these nail your nail lab boxes just because the thought behind these boxes aren't how they were in the beginning so yeah, i'm not going to go too far into that um topic of this video so i'm going to go ahead and jump right into my application off camera i did go ahead and apply my peel off base because i did not plan on wearing these nails for long um one thing i did want to mention that since i am going to be using that four in one glue when i am picking out my sizes i am going to 
up size just by one because since that product is so firm when you go to put it inside of the nail bed area and you go to place it on your nail it's going to take up a little bit more room and it's going to raise that nail up so once you go to apply it you may have a little bit like on the sides it's not going to cover like the side walls of the nails i'm not sure if that's making sense to you guys but when you are using like something a little bit more firm like whether it's poly gel these solid um, extension gels like this, you wanna make sure that you up a size so that you have room into like the nail tip to adhere to your nail bed. So for the rest of this process, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out all of my nail sizes. And once I do, we can start the application and I will explain a little bit further into how I do everything. So now that I went ahead and picked out all my sizes, this is how my nails are looking. So what I noticed about these um, soft gel nails, wait, are these? So yeah, they are the soft gel nails. I did have to refer back to the actual box. So one thing I did notice about these soft gel nails is that they didn't come pre-etched or have like that prep process done for you. I know a lot of these soft gel nails that I have been trying recently have already had that step for you. But if you do want to go ahead and take the initiative to do it manually, this is how you would do it. And it is best to use like a drill bit and an e-file because using like a buffer or a nail file, you may not be able to get really deep in there and it just may not fit so it's best to use something small like a drill bit and of course you can also use like a mandrel drill bit and a fine grit setting band but it may not fit in the smaller nails like the pinky or the ring finger and you will start to file more of the sides which is gonna um, change up that shape for the nail so yeah i just recommend you guys using something small like this a cuticle ball bit just something small to rough up that surface and this step here is very optional, but it does help the nails to last a little bit longer. I like to um, visualize this part as like water and oil. If you do try to apply the product to a shiny like nail, just kind of picture it as like water and oil. It's not going to mix. So you do have to rough up that shiny area so that it grips on a little bit more firmly. And after I repeated that to all of my nails, I did go ahead with my dust brush and just kind of remove all of that dust. Because you don't want any of that under your application it will leave room for air bubbles and water can get trapped underneath which can cause your nails to lift or pop off so for this solid gel i'm going to go ahead and just start to apply them so using a brush to apply this product is out the question like you don't even want to try to do that because you will have a hard time one of the things i see a lot of people do or like i guess this is actually how you apply it because like how else would you do it um, what I like to do is just scoop it out since it is a little bit firm It's just best to go ahead and have it already in that nail bed I know you also can use like a cuticle pusher Scooping it out and then go ahead and just placing it in the nail bed area And then also what I do love about this product is that you can touch it with your hands or I do recommend a glove if you are allergic to any of these nail products I'm I don't really know about all of that Um, just make sure that you guys do look into your nail products but yeah, one of the things I do love about it is that you can touch this with your hand and it's not going to be sticky at all. Like even the hand I don't have a glove on, I did kind of demonstrate how I worked it into the nail. What I felt like worked after doing the first nail for sure, I knew it was going to work better if I scoop it up and just kind of press it out in that nail. Because this product does not spread out like a base coat or a, one of the like other solid gel glues that's like just a little bit thicker than base coat i feel like it's best to just go ahead and give that product a head start and just press it over like that nail bed area where the product is going to go because if you just leave it in a ball you would have to add a lot more pressure than you would with just regular base coat and the product may not spread evenly how you want 
and you may end up pressing it down a little too much so i just recommend that you guys go ahead and spread it over that nail bed area once you get it pressed firmly on the nail just go ahead and wipe away that product that came out notice how i'm doing everything with my hand i don't have any alcohol near me i don't have a brush to clean up that excess spillage area i'm just scraping it off with my nail and i feel like that's super convenient what i love most about this is that it's not going to leave a big mess and how fast it is i'm not sure if it is faster to me than using like regular base coat or the other solid gels but i feel like it's kind of in between it does feel fast but i don't want to say that it is faster i just know that it is also very easy to use so yeah that's just how i'm going to be applying all of my nails um i do like this product i'm not sure if it is my favorite thing to use but it was very interesting to try out for the first time now as for the colors i was kind of curious because the only colors i see are nude and clear i do think that's all of the colors available so i did go ahead and check the mccart website and i didn't see any of them even after like searching the solid gel glue i didn't see this product at all so i checked amazon afterwards and i did see the two that i've been currently seeing which is the nude and clear so maybe that's all of the colors that they have for now oh and also i did see like this very interesting pink sheer color i'll pop it up on the screen because i forgot the name of it but i did see that one as well and i'm pretty sure that's all of the colors because i was scrolling um i did see a lot of bundles that they have with this product where you can get like the primer or like the uv light but that's pretty much all i do think maybe what they are trying to do is let you guys pay for this box and then put it on the mccarp website but if you do want to check it out it is available on amazon and i will have them linked down below for you guys to check out if you haven't tried this product um also speaking of this let me know if you have tried this yet i'm very cu i'm very curious to know what you guys thought about it um, or let me know if you do plan to try it out and as for the nail tips they do have the um three shapes available they have the stiletto coffin and square once i finish flash carrying all them on i do pop them in my bigger light for 30 seconds to make sure everything is nice and cured in place and at that point i was loving how the um product looked underneath how they're all like rounded kind of like a french tip i'm not gonna let them stay that way but before we can do anything else i'm going to take an e-file and a standing band and just work around that cuticle area i did have just a little bit of spilled product you can't really tell on camera except for this side piece here that i was trying to get off to get it i just kind of pinched my skin to get nice in that crease but i am going to work this around the cuticle area to flatten that part out to give it that very nice seamless and professional look also to get up that spilled um product which i didn't have a lot but i do repeat this over all of my nails and i didn't notice this while i was applying them but once i went to file i noticed that my index nail was a little bit like off the size i guess i didn't size up enough or i used a little bit too much product because my natural nails was showing a little bit on the side of it um, which i didn't really mind but if you do want to wear them and you don't want to have that look just make sure that you don't put too much product or just size up so that you can use a little bit more product let me know if you guys are enjoying today's video so far if you are go ahead and hit that like button um i do notice that most of my viewers are not subscribed so if you haven't subscribed yet and you're here watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button it will really help my channel out a lot also if you are feeling generous go ahead and leave a comment or some heart emojis down below Once I was done filing around the cuticle area, I am going to go ahead and take a hand file and it doesn't matter what grit. Um, I think this one is a 100-180. I'm just going to be filing the free edge to remove that piece of plastic. Also to just shape them up a little bit and I'm only going to be working on the free edge. Since I think this shape always look weird on me, I'm not going to go in on the sides and make them even more narrow than they already are. So I'm going to be taking the hand file and just filing the free edge area to shape them up. Also, I am going to go over the um, surface of the nails just to remove that shine before going in with my design. And while I'm here filing, I did just want to go ahead and address this. Um, I do like the way the product looks like from the top view, how it looks like a French tip. 
but underneath the nails it doesn't look so pretty like you can see that really bulky um area and i guess it's not really gonna matter unless like your personal preference if you are constantly like looking at your nails you may like look underneath it and you just may not like that look i don't know really how to fix it except for just telling you guys not to use as much product or you can take an e-file and just kind of file it and make it flatten out a little bit but since this is only for the sake of the video it didn't really bother me so i just went ahead and decided not to um try to fix it but yeah like i said i am going to go ahead and take the hand file also before i put it up and just remove the surface shine from my nails before i go in with my design whether you use base coat gel poly gel as an overlay or anything you decide to do if you do want the product to last it's best that you go ahead and remove that shine like i say just picture the oil and water they're not going to mix so just to give it that extra adhesion and allow it to grip on better go ahead and remove that surface shine from the nail and then go in with the product you decide to use. Once I was done, I did go ahead and take a dust brush to remove all of that extra dust and this is how the nails are looking. I think this shorter length is growing on me because I really love how they look. Usually I would tell you guys how I don't love the shorter nails, although I would really would love them if they were longer. But this shorter length, like I said, I think it's growing on me. I love how they look. Um, but yeah, I just go ahead and make sure that all of the dust is gone by taking a lint-free wipe and some alcohol to further remove any of that dust. But you also can go ahead and just wash your hands and this is how the nails are looking. So now going into this video, I did not know I was going to be using this product as dip powder. But like I wasn't really sure on what to do on top. I didn't want to do any gel design because I just felt like I wouldn't have loved them um as much so i'm gonna be taking this fruit punch color here which is so full of glitter which is why i wanted to use it i did go ahead and give it a shake so the powders and glitter are evenly mixed and i'm just going to go ahead and apply this by using some base coat there are two different ways i know you can use dip powder which is with the actual dip glue which is gonna air dry or you can use a base coat and for today's video i did think the base coat would be better for me to use so just like you would using the regular dip um, product, I'm just going to go ahead and go over the entire surface um, and just make sure that the layer is very even. If you have any bumpy areas, if you have any missing spots, the powder would not stick to that product. So I'm really just taking my time and making sure that I apply the gel evenly as possible so that I, so that I have an even and nice application. Before dipping into the powder though, I do go ahead and make sure that all of the product around my cuticle isn't on my skin. And then like regular, I go ahead and dip it into the jar just for a few seconds. I do think the first one here is left in real time. The others will be sped up just a little bit so you guys aren't sitting here for too long. But I leave it in there for a few seconds and pull it out, tap off the extra. And then I also have this wooden stick that I'm going around my cuticle area just to make sure that there's nothing left or nothing stuck to my cuticle area um and i am using base coat so you will have to cure this in a nail light in order for the product to stick it is not going to air dry like the regular um dip base so you can either cure it now or just go ahead and wait which i did wait until i had all of my nails like that um i have been noticing a lot of tanning around my nails so which is why i'm wearing my gloves as well and I didn't want to have to keep putting my nail in there, so I'm just being really careful and I'm going to cure them all at once. And yeah, that's basically how I'm going to be doing my design for this nail set. Also, I did want to mention how I do love the base coat method and would prefer it to any beginners because I know before I started to get a little better at dip powder, I was struggling and my dip application would come out really bumpy in some areas and I would just go over and over it with the um product and i just couldn't get it right so if you do experience a lot of mistakes i do recommend trying the base coat method that way once you put it on and you see there's like a lot of imperfections you can just go ahead and wipe it off and then try it again until you have it right once you do have it right you go ahead and cure it and then you go in with as many layers as you would like to or you need to and you are done with that step
I do go ahead and wipe the sides before I cure just in case the product may have taken away from the shape. I cure for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm pretty sure it was only 30 though, um, but cure for however long you want to. And then I go ahead and take a dust brush to remove all of that extra dust. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take a hand file and just go over the free edge again just in case the product may have looked a little bulky or taken away from that crispy shape. Um, although I do think the shaping of these nails weren't my best just because they were short coffin. But yeah, I do go ahead and take that initiative just to make sure that they look better. And again, I'm not going to work on the sides because I don't want them to be even more narrow than they are. Again, just go ahead and wiping away all that extra glitter and product. And so here, I was noticing how the nails look a lot better without the top coat because they were a lot like shimmier. They just look like twinkling, twinkling stars and I love how that looked. So while the sun was out, I did go ahead and take some finishing shots just to show you guys how it looked. Like the shine is unbeatable. Um, also, I did just want to go ahead and top coat them as well so I can show you the finished product. Um, although I could have left it as that because I'm not going to be wearing these long. I did wear them for like an hour after the video. But if you were to keep these nails on with nails like this with the glitter is very textured. You want to go in and make sure that you encapsulate them. Either one or two layers of clear. You may have to do a little bit of filing though. And since I didn't want to have to file. I just went ahead and top coated it to seal everything in. Um, if you do decide to top coat. You may have to use two layers just to make sure. But for the sake of the video. I only did one layer. Gonna cure that in the light. And then I'll be back to show you guys the finished shots of this nail set. Just adding in my cuticle oil and this is how the nails look so I decided not to do anything else on top except for this very simple gorgeous color here I did think this color looked like mango the color is called fruit punch but I feel like it should have been mango because it just fits so much better but yeah I just really love how the glitters look and I just wanted to do something very very simple because I did want to focus this video on using the soft gel tips and the 4-in-1 glue from a car. Since it was my first time using it, I really enjoyed using it. If you guys haven't tried it, make sure that you go ahead and check it out. If you have tried it, let me know what you thought of it. And so yeah, I really do love how this glitter looks. I love the color of this. Super nice and summery. And if you want me to use this color again as acrylic doing something a lot more extravagant, let me know. And I will have that done for you guys. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this simple look and this simple video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!